This evening, a plan to create a commuter rail line through Central Texas is in jeopardy. Union Pacific and Lone Star Rail District signed an agreement 10 years ago to develop a route using Union Pacific's tracks. This week, however, Union Pacific pulled out of that deal. But as KXAN's Heather Jackson shows us, Lone Star is not giving up on this project just yet. The Lone Star Rail District envisioned passenger service from Austin to San Antonio. But Union Pacific derailed those plans. We don't foresee a solution that they could come up with uh, that would put, make this a viable project again. Lone Star planned on having several stops along the way, including San Marcos, Buda, Austin, and Round Rock. But after 10 years of planning, Union Pacific pulled the plug. We are no longer supporting this project. Now, although Union Pacific seems dead set in their decision, representatives with the Lone Star Rail District tell me that they haven't given up hope just yet on ever using these tracks in the future. Bill Bingham with Lone Star Rail isn't giving up. He's already scheduled a meeting with Union Pacific next week in the hopes of salvaging the project. We can't keep up with the people and the traffic that's moving to the Central Texas region. Bill says they'll continue to work as though the project is still on track. We haven't stopped anything we're doing. We're still doing the, the environmental impact statement that's going on. We've got schedules and meetings and reports. Union Pacific has agreed to the meeting, but they don't anticipate a change of heart. In San Marcos, Heather Jackson, KXAN News. We also asked Lone Star Rail District if they are willing to look for other options aside from using the Union Pacific tracks. They tell us they plan to meet in the coming weeks to look at what's next. Well, rail plans in Central Texas have faced problems before, of course. In 2014, Austin voters rejected a bond proposal to build an urban rail route. Opponents said the $600 million price tag was simply too high and would do little to ease traffic. It was the second time Austin voters rejected light rail.